Hello, you are welcome to the chemistry lecture series in which uh, today uh, we discuss about the lubricants. So, lubricants are the such materials in solid form, in liquid form, in semi solid form, and even the gaseous form, and which reduces the friction uh, between the two surfaces. And all of you know about that. The different machines are related with the surfaces uh, contacts. So, whatever it suppose train, train is running on the uh, <coughs> um, by weak, uh, wheel. So, there is the surface interaction surface. So, uh, so therefore, the whatever uh, in this particular the moment, moment and so certain uh, uh, materials uh, for are responsible to reduce the friction. Whatever the present context, if suppose we have the magnetic levitation trains, so there is the, that particular, the friction can be reduced similarly. So that is magnetic levitation in that particular, the air is responsible for the lubricants. So lubricants are such materials and uh, those are useful in uh, different uh, uh, machinery parts so machine itself those are responsible and machines any of the advanced machines that certainly need certain materials and these materials are basically from the concept of the chemicals so chemicals are the mother of all those uh, advanced technologies we are the lubricants have the specific characteristics and those characteristics also reveals the significance in the many of the technology what are those particular significance we see have uh, the <coughs> hydrodynamic pressure this is also generated because of the uh, the lubricants hydrodynamic pressure all of you know about the different bigger machines for example the bulldozers are the different cranes which are used in different infrastructure activities. So crane having the pressure itself, the hydrodynamic pressure is generated. Most fun we have to know about the shockers. Shockers used in different vehicles by cycle, by the that is the motorcycles, then different four wheelers where the shocker is there. So shock itself, in case of the shockers, the different lubricant oils are filled. So that's, we have the significance, very great significance of the uh, lubricants. Even uh, we are using the certain semi-solid material that is the grease in the electric fan. So electric fan, the services for the electric fan needs the grease. Grease are also uh, whatever the examples of the lubricant. So in different machinery parts, we are using the greases. So greases are also the example of the lubricant. Number of greases, even uh, in advanced technology, solid material are also the example of the lubricants. So the function of lubricant to reduce the function and the smooth movement of that particular machine. For example, jet airplane. So therefore, the, in case of the jet airplane, the machinery part, that is the machine, that is the engine of jet plane. So specific lubricants are required because if we see the speed of the jet plane, 3000 kilometer per hour. So the jet plane contained uh, having the machine and that is the whatever that particular is the engine of jet plane so recently all of you have known about that uh, in the security system of india we have also certain jet fighters so the jet fighters all of you know about the value the cost of the jet fiber whatever the 1600 uh, crore rupees for uh, per of that so so uh, the definitely in in the jet plane uh, specific uh, lubricants are needed to run that particular uh, high speed engine 
and high controls of that particular vehicle. So without lubricant, we can't have any of the uh, answer for the development of such technologies. Even the spacecraft, even there is certainly a number of uh, technologies are available and which needs the lubricant. Here, uh, one more thing is there, that is the process, the process of the lubrication. So what about the lubrication? That is the process in which uh, the two or more parts of a machine can run smoothly. One more thing is there, all of you know about uh, the, uh, the civilization of human being and they are uh, the invention of the fire. So that invention of fire, the because of the, the uh, two stones. So two stones when rubbing, the fire is there so that is the what we have to concern so similarly if we have the two different uh, material two different component of a machine and uh, they function they rub with each other so definitely fire will be there so what happened in that particular case the melt that particular component what we are using so the invention of fire anciently that is because of the friction. So that is so reduce the friction, such chemicals, such uh, materials which have the specific chemical composition. And why specific? Because we have to know about the chemicals involved in lubricant. Here, when we have to see the petrochemical industry, when we have to see the vehicles development, so different vehicles have the specified Lubricant. So that is most advanced chemicals are used for a specific vehicle. So that is, for example, if suppose we have to see the different types of vehicle and their speeds are increased up to 1200 km per hour. So definitely, and certainly the friction, that is the movement, then the inside the machine parts movement. So those needs the lubricant. One of the one uh, one more example, and uh, that is the what about the ball bearing? So concern of the ball bearing, all of you know that all vehicles run on the wheel, and wheel having the shaft and ball bearing. So this ball bearing, so role of the ball bearing is important. If we see the electric fan, so electric fan is also related with the ball bearing. So ball bearing, if, if uh, the lubricant present in ball bearing, if uh, that uh, uh, come out outside, then definitely the friction will be more and that will be stopped down. So that will be breakdown in that particular vehicle. If uh, ball bearing have no sufficient lubricant, if uh, no specific lubricant, whatever, so definitely the security of the uh, machine that is, this, these are the security persons, security system. So security of uh, machine with the help of certain chemicals. And those chemicals, a number of examples of those lubricants available. The, here we can say the synthetic lubricants, the natural lubricants, what are those particular lubricants? Semi-solid, the liquid, the solid, and as well as the gases I have discuss about the magneto levitation trains. Recently, the China has uh, done the, completed the work on the train, the magneto levitation trains, where the speed of those trains are 600 km per hour. So definitely, there must be the role of uh, is. Uh, lubricant is most important. Why important? That secure that particular or the machine that secure that particular railway, uh, the the train of that. So, without lubricant, there may be the breakdown. Even if we have the fan. So, if fan we have no repairing, if we have no greasing, so definitely the fan will break down. How this can be happen? This is. The well known when two metals and two materials uh, are in function of their the activities 
functioning whatever the, the, there is the, the rolling the moving and different activities are there but for example if suppose we have to see the inside of the uh, <clears throat> engine so different gears and the shafts so different components are present in the big uh, engine of the vehicle so engine of the any of the machine whatever that particular machine even uh, the computer is also one of the example of the machine ibm that is the name is there the business machine so machines uh, 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 those uh, the role of the machine is uh, to substitute the human work the human work can be facilitated with the help of the machine with the help of automatic system with the help of semi automatic system otherwise manuals are there so uh, even number of uh, uh, chemicals are involved in uh, lubricants so, uh, so let's we have uh, what words it is uh, here you can see uh, that particular various examples so yes their classification how these particular lubricants are classified and what are the types of lubricants what are their properties responsible for the functioning of the machine so functioning of the whatever the spacecraft spacecraft also related with the machinery so space mission whatever we have the space mission so those particular specific materials are the lubricants are used for the security these are the security for the machine because uh, without uh, the lubricants uh, the machines cannot are uh, not to be secured here is the classification here is the types what are the natural lubricants which can obtained naturally from the animals from the plants from the plant we have to get the certain uh, different plant uh, seeds for example linseed the ground nut oil coconut oil different so there is whatever there may be the natural polymer and natural lubricants as well as the synthetic synthetics are prepared in the laboratory so let's we have to continue for the classification that classification i have earlier discussed solid the examples are many many number of examples of solid lubricants different uh, soap stone different minerals mica this is also one of the example of the solid lubricant even the tungsten sulfide the molybdenum sulfides example of the solid then we have the uh, liquid lubricants in case of the liquid number of liquid lubricants are available then we have the semi solid this is in between the solid and liquid so those uh, semi solids are the example of the soaps and various greases are the example of the uh, semi solid semi solid examples so number of semi solid greases are we are using even in the smallest uh, vehicle that is the bicycle their chains are there then we are using the different uh, components and then we have the that particular uh, grease are used in the chain one chain movement the conveyor belt what are the convey, uh, convey uh, uh, that is the movement of the chain from one so this particular picker wheel so wheel so here the pieces are used then this is so certain properties are <coughs> most important and those property viscosity whatever that can be all of you well known the viscous material so whether they have the more viscous whether they have the less is viscous so that uh, we have to see that a particular the different properties are responsible for viscosity index this is one of the great uh, property of the viscous uh, the lubricant because viscosity index that is uh, what we have the temperature relationship if we heat lubricant so what will be the changes the viscosity changes so if suppose viscosity come down so therefore that particular lubricant also come down from the machine so from so it is essential the viscosity index that is related the relationship between the viscosity property 
with the temperature what happened even in suppose uh, in uh, our kitchen when we boil the edible oil so what happened edible oil we are using so edible oil uh, if we have taken in the pots and we give the heat and more and more heating so what happened regarding the viscosity so their viscosity will be less as compared to the cold condition so in case of the high value added uh, vehicles so those the temperature is reached up to 600 five uh, 1000 degrees centigrade so what happened those lubricants used in that particular machine so if uh, 3000 kilometer per hour speed the jet air fighters are running so high temperature will be generated because of that and that hydro high temperature it itself can be cooled down it can be uh, here lubricants for the purpose of the lubrication of that particular machine so uh, viscosity index is one of the great property and that uh, the flash and fire for this is also concerned of the automation automatic fire automatic fire that is relates with the lubricant so if suppose the flash and fire point are not correlated in any of the machine in any of the vehicle so that is the dangerous to that automation automatic fire will be there when the vehicle is running on when vehicle run and if suppose the flash and fire point of lubricants are low so definitely fire occurs in that particular vehicle even so many accidents happen in different vehicles so those are related with lubricant part lubricant security security highly secure uh, materials that uh, so any of the technology when we are developing we have to go towards the chemicals towards the chemistry part because all of the materials are related with the chemicals uh, and the chemistry itself is the mother of all materials why mother because certain uh, different components we are using in different machines so therefore the mother is the chemistry so we have to salute the chemistry because that is the essential whatever uh, one of the uh, uh, the <coughs> lubricant so lubricant we have why we salute the lubricants why we salute the chemistry because the security system of the vehicle what high temperature is generated and that can be uh, maintained with the help of uh, such materials and so it is very um, systematically approach of chemicals are to be given the flash and fire point then we have the cloud and port point emulsification one of the property emulsification that we are using the different facial creams so facial creams but we are the gel so all those are the emulsion even the simple milk is also example of the emulsion so emulsion itself emulsion is also so emulsification this property uh, of lubricant is also relevant for the proper functioning so age of the particular machine can be enhanced with uh, one of the other property emulsification so what happened in case of the emulsification oil to water oil we have to see that is the lubricant and water from the moisture so oil to oil water that become a uh, emulsion so that is also the property uh, all of you are well known about that that uh, uh, milk is also so number of uh, the creams uh, different facial creams are also the emulsion so now we have to continue for the these are also uh, explained earlier but again you can see the different solid lubricants here the solid wax wax itself uh, that is in the form of the uh, whatever in the form of the type of the so here uh, we can say uh, solid lubricants and uh, that solid lubricants uh, are the waxes the talc talcum powder facial powders are there so 
that is the talc itself is one of the mineral and the mica mica also uh, the function is the solid lubricant and, uh, artificials the molybdenum you know, disulfide or the tungsten compounds i want one most is the full reads so the full read bookmaster full read can be also used for bigger machine lubrication so machines are oh, if suppose we have to uh, we have the work of the infrastructure where the tunnel itself uh, is uh, uh, the tunnel is uh, to be made and here the digging of that particular the mountain with the help of tunnel building machine so definitely that is the bigger machine so in that particular bigger machine special lubricants are to be used so those are i have given the example advancement that is the bookmaster full rein full reins are the example of the also the solid lubricant then semi solid the name itself semi means uh, they are the physical state in between the solid and liquid semi solids so semi solids are generally what over the soaps all of you know about the soaps soaps are manufactured with the uh, so for example if a washing soap so there is the sodium hydroxide and oil that is the form uh, the stearic acid so sodium stearate it, this is the soap soap itself is uh, the in between the liquid and solid so semi solids are uh, these are generally also called the greases sodium soap that can be prepared with the sodium salt lithium soap that can be prepared with the lithium barium soap so these are the examples of the uh, what about the vaseline all of you know about the vaseline so vaseline itself is used in the winter so that particular vaseline we have for the purpose of the lubrication so uh, reduce the friction what about that the skin can be <clears throat> remain uh, active with the help of the uh, semi solid and liver liver the facial cream vaseline those are the example then the lubricant liquid lubricants the well known <clears throat> we are using some various edible oils those are obtained from the vegetable and even the animal oils are also used by us so animal oil the vegetable oil vegetables are further in the two form but we are edible oil the groundnut the whatever the other uh, groundnut oil which we are using for the edible then number of uh, oils palm oil so uh, number of uh, edible oils are there and non edible oils also there for example castor oil this is a non edible oil and viscosity of castor oil is more and more as compared with the others so viscous material one more is the coconut oil so coconut oil this is also example of the lubricant we are using certain uh, oils for our requirement that is useful for us so here uh, we can get the vegetable oil animal synthetic so for the uh, advanced technology machines we need the synthetic lubricants and all of the chemistry come here that synthetic how we can synthesize what are the requirement of the machine so here the calculation comes from the ground of the ground chemistry and ground chemistry itself we have to follow the different uh, uh, rules and regulation of the chemistry how the material is synthesized so the important concern is the synthetic artificial natural we have number of natural example i can mention here uh, one of the earlier um, that particular for the lighting system because the electricity because of the development of uh, tungsten uh, lamp the incandescent lamp that was by whatever thomas edition so this is about 150 years issue so before that there were the mashals used so mashals having certain specific lubricants are there whatever those so maybe the animal oil so 
that is the role of the Olympic Games. Even we have to see the Olympic Games. So to, uh, since the starting of the Olympic Games, there were the marshals were used. So at that moment, there was uh, no, uh, uh, no uh, no that any uh, of the uh, material use. The, the lubricants was used. So that particular the capacity for the burning and that continuously the mashal itself is continuously ignited. Even nowadays, there are the artificial whatever the different gases are used. For example, butane gas is used for the igniting the mashals. So that is the Olympic Games starting from the 1900. So that was also the lubricant. So because of the lubricant, we can get a number of uh, facilities, a number of advancement in our life. So especially, uh, especially we have the machine parts and that especially whatever uh, that particular uh, most important thing is the uh, vehicles we have to transportation so, so there is the same thing the semi-solid the gases and liquid whatever the different types and now this is this is again here some includes uh, the more information the so liquid in uh, here vegetable oil petroleum oils whatever the synthetic lubricants also concern in case of the addition of the animal oil the tallow oil and the veal oils so uh, we can say these are the different examples of uh, uh, whatever uh, that particular different types of uh, lubricants vegetable oil i have mentioned uh, castor oil castor oil itself is used for the purpose of medicinal value also and uh, the castor the vegetable castor seeds those castor seeds when uh, pressurized and then we get the castor oil that have the uh, high uh, viscosity viscous means all of you know about the viscous uh, that how much thick that particular uh, liquid for example we have the water and this can compare with the glycerin and this can compare with the honey the natural product so honey itself is more viscous as compared with the water and glycerin so glycerin is in viscous in between the water and the honey so that is the viscosity the viscosity can be measured in the different way kinematic way so that uh, the use of the viscometers so now castor oil then we have the palm oil and petroleum products so the great opportunity and uh, we have uh, used with the help of the petroleum as a fossil fuel so fossil fuels what are those are the petroleum and then petroleum itself is processed so definitely there will be uh, we get the particular processing of the petroleum what happened and during the processing when during the refining of petroleum different products are obtained including the petrol diesel and then we get lubricants so lubricants having the high boiling point as compared with the diesel and petrol so diesel and petrol having the low boiling point range uh, chemicals of uh, the product of the petroleum however at this moment it is very big challenge to use the fossil fuel but even the lubricants obtained from the petroleum oils are yet to be used because that have also the great value and then we have a number of synthesis the chemistry involved what are those polyglycos silicones very extraordinary lubricants are the silicon oxygen silicones what are those uh, maybe the uh, silicon rubbers are also there so that is the other example of the silicon polymers so definitely silicones have also the great role in the, the running of the different advanced machines different advanced uh, advancement in the human uh, technology so let's we have to continue for that and here that's of the semi-solid 
the campus, this is the emulsification of oil and fats, the, the technique, it's all of you are well known about the gum itself. So the role of the gum is to thicken. So, so certainly there are the thickness. Uh, thickness means the viscosity has increased, enhanced with the thickening uh, agents and those are, and, and better way is the soap. So, so, uh, so what are the soaps? The, soap itself the salt and their salt or whatever the maybe the alkalis and those particular uh, <coughs> salt uh, carboxylates so sodium pomade sodium stearate sodium stearate stearic acid pomade 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 so that will be the soap example so how this this is the simple emulsification of oil and fat with the thickening agent so here a uh, number of uh, uh, recently uh, technique agents are invented recently and very uh, uh, very challenging work of the technique agents because those uh, technique materials have, are uh, used for the purpose of the formation of the semi solid lubricants so here a uh, number of uh, the either sodium soap where the sodium is present, the calcium soap, calcium is present, the lithium soap, the beryllium soap, even the aluminium soap. These are the types of the greases, semi-solid material. And those particular specific greases are used for specific machines. Specific machine, whatever I have mentioned, very challenging machines, uh, even the speed of uh, that particular machine can be enhanced and better and better and best one is the chemicals responsible for that particular lubricants use so here are the we have the uh, other examples of the solid lubricants i have mentioned many of the even here we have graphite is one of the answer for the the solid lubrication even the most one the molybdenum sulfide and then boronitride. Boronitrides can also be predominantly used in the solid lubricants and they are used under high temperature and high load, very high load. What about the load? If we stand on the any of the uh, article, then load of our it will be there. If we have the stool and we have uh, stand over the stool. So that load we have, so that is the high load bearing strength of uh, uh, so therefore at that moment that we call it as root. so uh, many of the examples so here uh, uh, certainly i have given one of the uh, machine the tunnel building machine and that tunnel building machine itself is responsible for the great uh, for great infrastructure systems are given by that it suppose we want to uh, make a road in between the mountain so therefore we got the tunnel one of the example of the new york in that particular case the below of uh, one kilometer so up to one kilometer there is very hard road like of the granite so what uh, how can they sustain in the new york so they have very inside inside that uh, below the earth a number of uh, what all the transportation systems are made the what is that was the granite stone is there up to one kilometer below one kilometer so how this can be a big certain infrastructures so therefore we need certain specific high loaded machines so definitely those machines uh, need that is the need for a so here uh, whatever we can say and uh, number of. one more thing is there they are uh, especially used in different technologies what are those particular specific and uh, various mechanical work or what do we have the quenching oil specific quenching whatever the heating whatever the cooling and that method that uh, if any of the tools any of the machinery parts those are made and the quenching oil is one of the one more is the tempering machine tempering oil so tempering oil and more is the refrigeration oil so why 
the refrigeration oil having the specific because we have concern about the cooling system and cooling system that is uh, one of the most important aspect in our life because of the refrigeration even we are using the liquid nitrogen for certain specific way so liquid nitrogen that we have the cool down so that is the refrigeration refrigeration oil have the specific correct the rubber process oil so these are the what are the uh, very significant even the ink process oil so whatever there are a number of uh, significance uh, regarding the so here i am mentioning one of the most important and that is the ball bearing sliding direction load is there most important significance of uh, lubricant in our life that is we run the transportation system and in case of the transportation system the ball bearing role is set is the important why ball bearing itself because all wheels even number of uh, the systems were the shaft and then the wheel so wheel can be run with the help of the ball bearing so here balls are there so how this uh, ball bearing functions that is the very simple why what is that is very simple but that is we have to see but in that particular the different uh, lubricants role is most important so lubrication of uh, ball bearing and that uh, definitely uh, enhance uh, the definitely the shape of the particular machine so here suppose we have running the ceiling fan and in that particular ceiling fan ball bearing is there and ball bearing run that particular vehicle uh, that particular fan so here the balls uh, here the sliding direction what are the different direction so lubricant is present so without lubricant there will be no answer of running of the oil bearing and no answer for the ring so there will be the whatever the breakdown of that particular vehicle or breakdown of that particular ceiling fan a ball bearing uh, have no appropriate lubricant and here also the where in case of the ceiling fan uh, semi solid uh, material is also used but uh, the role of the ball bearing so there are is definitely in a machine uh, different types of lubricants even uh, we, uh, we have the bicycle so bicycle the chain have the other specific lubricant for example tractors tractors which are used in the agriculture purposes so high so the work of the tractor then different types of uh, lubricants are there in different parts even so that is whatever we can see the clutch clutch oil is there so uh, in a vehicle different uh, lubricants are uh, for this specific purpose whatever that even if suppose we have the lock and key so lock and key also needs the specific lubricants otherwise there may be the sound there may be the even when we open the gates okay their hinges hinges are also related with the whatever that the lubricants so to reduce the friction in between the two surfaces that is the big role of uh, that particular lubricants so now we have most important significance now we can say uh, some of the example and some of the questions what you can give the answer powder of a solid lubricant delivered to the the question is rubbing area this is also one of the rub to rub the rubbing area so what we have all of you are well known about i think uh, uh, then um, one of the well known example of the entertainment and that is uh, what we are using the different uh, items which we have to use for the striker and uh, coatis are using Uh, carom board so there we are using the certain solid powders so solid pow uh, solid uh, lubricants so, so, so those are the example of the solid uh, lubricants so here you can see uh, 
uh, what is the answer? So rubbing area explanation for this, the powder of the solid lubricant is delivered to the rubbing area. That means the dry lubrication and it has a good adhesiveness. Composite coating consists of the particle of the solid lubricant and dispersed throughout the matrix. So the right answer is the rubbing area. Whatever uh, delivered to the, uh, then we have the another that is uh, following, which is not the inorganic. Inorganic, uh, whatever, because the metal, is the, uh, the lead is the soft metal. Sulfides, selenides, and tellurides of the molybdenum, tungsten, and myobium, tantalum, these are comes under the inorganic compounds. Now another soft metal which is lubrication. What is that particular answer for this uh, uh, soft metal? Here the low plasticity, high plasticity, no plasticity, moderate plasticity. So soft metal, here the answer is the B, high plasticity. The soft metal have the high plasticity as they have low shear strength. Lead, lead tin, bismuth, indium, cadmium, and silver, silverware are the sum of the example of the soft metal lubricant. So, 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 so therefore, uh, these uh, metals are also used for the purpose of the lubricant. Now, one more thing is there, and that is uh, answered uh, with uh, your hand, and how many types of lubricants are there on the basis of shear strength. So, the correct answer is the four. So there are four types of lubricant according to the classification and basis of the shear strength. They are solid, uh, whatever we have mentioned, various examples of the solid, the various examples of the liquid, the semi-solid, and as well as the gaseous lubricant. Whatever uh, I have mentioned, the uh, magneto-levitation trains. So, there is the rubbing of between the two surfaces, the wheel of the train and the railway track, and those have a very small uh, uh, magnetic uh, repulsion. So that is, levitation is generated because of the magnetic material. So during the functioning of that magneto levitation, there the air is responsible for the giving the lubrication. So therefore, so because of the air uh, is used, so therefore the speed of train will be more and more in case as compared when, uh, when uh, if I suppose the um, uh, if suppose the, the wheel of a train and uh, the railway track they have uh, they they are passing through like this and instead of that the magnetic levitation. So here the shear. So that is the gaseous. That gaseous, the example is the air, well known air. Even we have the so many, I suppose aeroplane is running, so therefore that will be the air itself and with the help of a, in the air, the aeroplane can, or many of the vehicles were to, so that is acting as a, uh, so this part is the answer, the another one, Question: Which of the following are the disadvantages? So there are certainly not the advantage. Something in some cases, the disadvantages are. Which of the following are the disadvantages of solid lubricant? The correct answer: Poor heat dissipation. So heat does not dissipate in case of the overall. So what we have: the heat that generated because of the surface interaction the different components present in a machine. So poor heat dissipation is the right answer for the disadvantage of solid lubricant. If suppose we have used the semi-solid lubricant or we have used the liquid lubricant or instead of that we have the gaseous lubricant. So which one is the better for the, uh, what is the heat is generated? So the poor heat dissipation. So the dissipation is not distributed. 
more effective when at high pressure, that is high resistance, deterioration, permits equipment is heavily. So here the correct answer, one of the disadvantage of the solid lubricant is poor heat dissipation. They have more ability to form foam well at the high load too. However, in that particular case, then the last one, the question, in solid lubricant, the will be low and here the coefficient of friction. So coefficient of friction will be low in case of the explanation. The coefficient of friction will be low for the solid lubricants and it is one of the disadvantage of the solid lubricant. So they are stable at high temperature also, cleanliness of the solid lubricants is also there. So overall I can conclude. So all of you have uh, understand about the very important significance of lubricant. How the lubricants are responsible for the different technologies, for the coming different technologies, whatever the marine system, whatever the air system, whatever the our air force, the army and the navy system, even the number of machines, whatever the machines are made and the chemistry of lubricant itself is to understand, to innovate new technologies. So for the innovation of new technology, we have to know about the what are the solid lubricants, what are the semi-solid lubricants and what are the gaseous lubricants. I have given number of things. Now one more thing is there and that is with you or with all of you and that is uh, what we have, the lubrication of our body. Anyone can give the answer for that. Because our body is also at one of the machine. So how we can, how I speak, so certainly certain lubricants are responsible. How uh, the movement of my finger, movement of my hand, movement of my body and movement of my head, movement of uh, my eyes. So certainly we need specific lubricants. So the great role, great significance of lubricants. Our eyes, uh, uh, whatever the eyes opening, eyes, so that particular, even uh, the certain uh, eye drops also contain some thickening material. So that is the thickening substances and thickening material to thick the particular uh, whatever I have a system. So thickening materials are thickening agents are made uh, are added in different eye drops. For example, methyl cellulose. So cellulose containing so carboxymethyl cellulose CMC itself is added as a thickening material for different eye drops. So that is the, what is that? Carboxymethyl cellulose. So that is the example of the thickening material and that is used uh, in different eye drops. Whatever that may be the composition, that is the solid one and the polymer, carboxymethyl cellulose used in the different eye drops. So that is the lubricants. So lubrication of our eyes, otherwise eyes will be dry. Whatever I am speaking, and that, uh, that naturally we have the lubricants. So the most is the cartilage system inside the body. So the machine, the uh, the whatever our machinery parts, and most one is the bones. So bones, skeletal system that is also related with the lubricants great significance of the lubrication must be there and the chemistry role of the chemistry itself is important in uh, ourselves and without the chemistry because chemistry is the mother we can understand number of you know, number of technology with the help of the chemistry so all of you are any of the inquiry regarding any of the explanation you can send me uh, mail at my mail id and even if all of you can ask me the question the my mobile number and then last one you can see 
the Suresh Gyanvihar University website and we have number of programs available, number of courses are available. Okay, all the best, best wishes.